Guys, this is over Tongard. There's a tornado. A driver right captures a tornado it building up in South Africa's KwaZulu Natal province. By the time many could seek shelter, it was too late. Areas like this have been devastated. The high winds and torrential rains flattened homes and flooded roads. At least 120 people have lost their homes, 11 others have been killed. Authorities have declared a state of alert. We don't have any food because it's all wet. All our belongings are wet. Our IDs are all under the rubble and we're still searching. We literally have nothing. We plead with those who can help to come forward and rescue us. The rooms have been destroyed. That means my tenants don't have a place to stay. Now I have to try and get them a place to stay and have my house repaired, and I do not have that much money to do that. I survive because of my tenants, and there are only two of them. In some areas, work is being done to restore water and electricity supply after power lines were damaged. Two years ago, Durban and its surrounding areas were the site of the worst flooding in South Africa's history, killing more than 400 people. At least 10 people have died now in the neighboring Eastern Cape province, where there's been extensive flooding. And more than 2,000 people have been forced to leave Nelson Mandela Bay. Weather services say the heavy rains and cold are likely to bring hail, snow and more strong winds. They've issued a warning in two other provinces because more bad weather is expected. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.